Don't worry about it. You can follow all the action, even if it's not on stream. You definitely can. And speaking of action, we are very close to actually just jumping straight into it as we load uh, or as we are about to load into the control map for this next matchup. Yep, easy versus yeah. hot bath. Lee Jang Tower. Now, um, looking at both of the uh, both of the rosters here. Yep, easy and hot bath. Uh, a lot of, well, let's say quite familiar names, man of class. Yeah, it's uh, definitely going to be a uh, hot series, as to, so to speak, because not only do you have Hot Bath on one side, it's always been, you know, they're really that, that unit that came in from the, mostly the Middle Eastern region which is a fairly new region for EMEA Overwatch. You know, we went from Europe to being EMEA. Finally, we got a lot of more uh, uh, countries added to the list, you know, that were sort of allowed or, you know, I got access to playing in these Open Division and Trials tournaments. Uh, they got their own server. So now we see so many more players coming in from that than just the few that we had before. It's becoming a more populated uh, region as a whole then, because in, in Europe and uh, Middle East and Africa, and uh, that really shows to cut some good gameplay. They've also been in and out of trials, a similar story to what we saw with Top to Stop Toxicity. But unfortunately, they have the displeasure of playing against some very, very staple household names in Overwatch as a whole. Oh, yeah. The streamer team of Yep Easy. I mean, it, everyone is like, oh, we kind of want to play against them, but we also kind of don't want to play against them for a good reason. <laughs> yeah, that is it. That is a very good reason. I mean, you want to you want to be up in this um let's 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 call it pantheon you know when you look at shock har blue uh then there's craggy and Kathy on the deeps and ml7 and awkward to close it out that is a strong roster i mean all of them i think most of them if not all of them have played organized play so they are aware of how to do that how to not only you know play with a couple of uh, a couple of randoms if you if you so will um but will they be able to have the same sort of synergy that hot bath can bring to the party man of class that's the big question as we as we load into this game in just a couple of seconds yeah definitely so and of course you know not only the teams are going to be bringing the action but we're going to be bringing the action action live to you and we're going to be sounding crisp and clear because of team speak the official voice provider for monkey bubble um it's definitely sounding it's, it's definitely sounding really good for us uh, I mean, I can hear Ollie really clearly, which is always very helpful for me, because if I don't hear what he's <laughs> saying, then reacting to it is, is is quite annoying that we just talk like past each other at the same time. So, yeah, very yeah. happy that we have a good voice app to use. And uh, so far, no trouble yet. It's the most stable thing in the world for me. It definitely is, uh, though there are some evil voices out there that would say even without any form of voice communication, you could hear me from your house when I start talking. <laughs> but that's, that's just a rumor, or is it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we, do, we do see that um, both of the teams are now giving us a ready signal in the lobby, so it should just be a couple of seconds. Um, one more thing I want to touch upon. I mean, we've seen their commercials. We've seen, uh, hopefully, their browser itself. But go check out Opera GX. Opera GX, a browser that is made for gaming and is made not only for gaming, but by gamers. So that means a lot of people have said, this is what I find important when I use a browser while I'm gaming. For instance, to have some guide up or to watch some streamer. Watch and support tier two while you're gaming yourself, you know. Um, and they built an entire browser concept around that. That is absolutely fantastic. So go check it out. Yeah, definitely. Links both in the, in the underneath. We have a panel for it, but there's also the com the chat command exclamation mark opera. So you'll be able to find everything about it at the at the width of a few buttons, few clicks. So it's only a little bit away. And uh, yeah, I mean, like you said, we're definitely going to be ready to get into this game quite soon. Starting on Lee Jung Tower between these teams, and. Um yeah, so it, instead, you know, instead of saying, you know what, we're actually going to go into it, we're going to throw through a quick break uh, and, you know, maybe you get to see some fun content. Who knows? You can all be uh, on, the, uh, on the press of a button, you know, we have people behind the scenes clicking those. But uh, yeah, we'll see you on the other side with this game. Yep, easy versus hot bath. Don't miss the action because it's going to be hot and heavy.
Welcome back, everybody. We're starting on Lee Jung Tower here between Yep Easy and Hot Bath. Teams are about ready to get out of the spawn. And of course, it's the streamer team versus the, uh, the Middle Eastern Dream Stream. It's, uh, it's going to be a, a, a beautiful, uh, beautiful game between them. Five. Starting on Lee Jung Garden, Ollie. And we're already seeing that these teams have a different one. idea of how to play Round this map. One. And uh, what that's going to lead to is all going to be played out on the field. That's right, you do see Shock and Har Blue uh, going very aggressively. Uh, while we do see both balls, the difference in the tank lineup is, of course, that Winston. We'll see how Shock is going to fare while the uh, while our Middle Eastern ladies <laughs> colleagues are just getting ready to jump into that point. You do see Yep Easy already getting a lot of pressure up onto Bustio, who has to take away, but coming through white is the rest of hot bath they're now moving in on it cafe in the back of bustio bustio in a bit of trouble needs to pull back same thing goes though for alvi <laughs> goes for alvicate shock going down harblu already down right here and that means that it is up to hot bath to take the first point and first point cap and that should be coming up now it should be, but there's still trades happening back and forth. Harblue almost touches in time, does actually make it. So this point has not been capped yet, Ollie. Tricky Turtle's trying to just control it with that Roadhog, but he just cannot get a hold of either of these tanks right now. They can't, and it is going to be hard because that cap is still not come down. Oh, this now finally, Hot Bath are able to close the deal on that. Shock jumps into Yavin. No more Ana on the point for Hot Bath as Yap easy move in. Now Harblu going into a breathing tricky turtle. Tricky turtle going very low has a bit of an issue, but will be healed up. Bustio has an antenate on themselves. Uh, well, Craggy is being nano boosted. Harblu, good double kill here, and they're looking for. More. Awkward gets shocked back up here on the point. Five versus two. This is looking like a control point already as Craggy fires it into buttons. The Yavin is being shot down as well. And this could just end very, very nastily. Yeah, good job still on Hot Bath to get control of that early. It's the main uh, main reason why that Roadhog and that Brigitte especially can work, because you have a more static presence on the point that's more deterring. But Harblue and Shock, together with the rest of their team, can just keep on dan dancing around everything, poking from a range and just pick the team apart. Especially if Yavin has to be so careful not to just get spotted out and just, just delete it. No, they need to be very, very careful of just that because the barrage comes out. Drinking turtle going down. Traffy with a good stay. Craggy not done yet as he finds Spartan. Say Rabbit Champ unable to hold footing and goes down. Same thing goes for Bustio who was just hanging off the ledge. Yep, EZ are making it look just that. Yeah, it's so far not really a big trouble for them. And now that they've got control over the objective, they can spread out wherever they want to, uh, deny the approach, just CC, make space, create space, keep space, poke away. It is, uh, well, truly just a joy for them to be on this map right now. 
hot bar. Definitely not off the books just yet as Tricky Turtle fires in that whole hog. Goes off the hard blue. Boostio on the sideline gets onto Awkward. And now it is hot bar turn on the button. They're going to counter cap this again. 60C versus 32%. And Boostio, just for good measure, gets ML7 out of commission. So Caffey and ML7 still both at the drawing board here. Oh, you see Craggy switching over to the Somb right now because Rabbit Champ was just doing too much to do against that uh, Farah. Awkward also on the Zenyatta, so more damage from uh, from them. And of course, the hacks to disable quite a few players. Go to White Room here. Rabbit Champs fires onto ML7. Once again, the Ana out of commission. And that means Yep Easy are going to have a hard time getting back onto that point. Hot Bath are just letting the water run as Alvacate goes on to Craggy. Sombra out of commission. Caffey goes down just as well as Tricky Turtle puts some pressure up on those streamers. And now you see that the difference here, uh, at least for this first point on control, is the control that hot bath are bringing to the show uh, yep he's turning into no part and now they're trying to dive in with the nano monkey it's always been a great combination you need to get on top of players it's rabbit champ that's the one they really want and they might just get him right here no the debate is real the debate is real but there it is the primal rage comes out they're just trying to clear that point rabbit champ fires onto craggy yet again cafe now moves in has that sticky bomb tries it misses the stick onto the brigitte and that is something that hurts there is a copy onto the zenyatta they want the transcendence here for hot bath to come out basically to uh, to copy what awkward just did but the and tricky turtle are able to execute and that means the first round goes to hot bath and this is the way to execute this composition that Hot Bath is running, right? You set up your backline in such a way that this mobility poke composition has to go so far and expend so many cooldowns to get to you that you're never going to actually find the picks. And even if you find the pick on Rabbit Champ or Yavin, it's taking you so long that the rest of your team just gets torn apart by a, by a Roadhog, by... Uh, by a wrecking ball, just by a Widowmaker headshotting something. Like, it's it's so hard to get on top of it. And you see now that they go to Night Market, it's a complete swap up in compositions. They say, oh, so we cannot ah. use mobi movement, cool. like mobility cooldowns to get to you and then kill you? Well, then we just put up shields and a lot of damage, close range. Ouch. And moving in onto round two as the gates open. Yep, easy have their work cut out for them because they don't want to get set up yet again. Teleport strategy brings them straight on two point. Hot bath going the long way around and they need to crack this nut wide open now. Let's see how they're going to do that. There's already a car wash coming up over the entrances, the main entrances. Boostio gets awkward, called out. And that's not what you want to have happen in the early engagement here. Boostio actually gets away with their life as Alvacate comes in from the side, takes down Kragi, and is looking for more targets. Tricky Turtle takes a breather, but moves back in, trying to angle some of the Yap Easies out of this point. Harblu is able to get Alvacate out of it, but the first cap, despite having point advantage here on Yap Easies part, goes to hard path. Yeah, they just couldn't stop Awkward from getting kicked off. It's a beautiful combo between Alvacate and Bustio to get that kill. Then afterwards, it was just broken open. Now it's a good attack here from Yep Easy. The what a grab! <laughs> the grab anti nade combination is just absolutely brutal. And you love to see it when the Ana gets the double of that. So the capture is real. And that is Yep Easy capturing it after just 24% went down on the clock for Hot Bath. I really want to see the average charge on Harblu so far because that was a very quickly charged Graviton. Of course, got a lot of damage out earlier on, especially on Tabustio. But that grab was just everything they needed and more. Already 40% to the next one, Ali. Yeah, you do send Shock in there. And at that point, it's just bubble and go. Bubble and go. Caffey, good double kill here. Gets button. See Tricky Turtle Awkward closes out Alvacate. And now, yep, easy in a very good position. Even though there was a back cap coming out of Bustio, that is not not enough percentage to say that that was worth. Uh, will they really expect another quick grab though? At least there's a shatter to start off with first, and there's no barrier. This is such an easy one to hit for shock. As soon as someone gets close to that team, they can just be taken out. Solo shatter hero for all I care. It's value. 
it is value but the question is whether or not you can get that value consistently in order to make a difference in the flow of this game now shock very low on that reinhardt shield but that's another grab from our blue rabbit champ is being caught out kathy with a good stick onto button see shock good double kill and that's the reinhardt you want to see uh, such a clean up fight from the get go. They just try and find the position. Where do we throw it in? You see Shock looking for the shatter. And Hard Blue says, No, 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 no. I'll just grab and it's fine. You still have a shatter. I don't think he's used it this entire round yet. And we're already up to like the seventh fight at this stage. That is very, very low shatter usage for a Reinhardt. Well, yeah, the shatter, u the shatter usage, just waiting it out for a heavy push like that one. That could just be the strategy here. And yep, he's immediately capitalized on it. There's a Nano Genji, Elvacate, looking for it. But the sound barrier came out of awkward. Made sure that Elvacate couldn't do enough damage. Hard blue onto Yarvin. And yep, easy, pushing back hot bath even further and now they're going for a very aggressive defense here on yep easy shock has that nano has that swinging hammer and has the backup of his entire team in order to just go and reap the harvest oh this is such a good prospect as well if they win this round to go to the next one because of course that is where the reiner zarya has always shun a shot close to another shatter how about close to another grab there's so many ultimates online they can just end a fight this is not gonna last long anymore ollie no i'm shocked first just basketballs elvacate just baseballs him out of the air and then just goes for a shatter close it out and this is a one one right there it looks like yep easy needed to wake up a bit maybe they didn't have enough opposition in the rounds before but you're now in the big these boys so step it up and I mean, everyone who watches these streamers regularly knows what heroes these players usually usually go off on, right? You know, you know that Harblu is a phenomenal off tank. Uh, Shock does so much on the Reinhardt and Winston. You know, the, the main tank category. Craggy, Caffey, they're just flexible DPS. They kind of play whatever they have to in those games. Craggy more on the hit scan. Caffey a little bit more on the projectile side, but you know, depending on. And then ML7, just a flex support god. Awkward on the main support. Like, you know that this meta is very suitable to the, these players that are so experienced and just grind rank all day long for the stream. And then you look at Hot Bath, and even though you might not know these players as well, even though they might be not familiar names, they're essentially very similar in how they play. They play more organized, but they still are so, you know, adaptable to all these situations as well. Yeah, the only difference I can see right now between Yap Easy and Hot Bath is that aggression that comes out from Yap Easy. Yap Easy, as soon as they see a small opening, they will not just commit one or two people. No, they commit the full shebang. Rabbit Champ had to feel Kathy there as the grenades come out. Awkward going up and over. And Yap Easy want to defend this thing all the way near the spawn. They don't even care that the point has not been capped just yet. Sending Harblu back to do just that right now. Yeah, right now you just have to just cap the points and keep on going. And of course, a Junkrat combination with everything else that they're running right now. It's been such a staple. You see Kaffi already up to 70% to retire. The, the tanks are doing well on their old charge and even ML7. It's actually surprising how low charge they have. It just shows how little damage is actually put out by Hot Bath. That's true, but Hot Bath not out of commission just yet. There it is. The amplification matrix comes out. I think everyone is being healed back up here. So good setup by Yavin and Bottensea. But now you you need to come in. You need to put in Death Attire. Comes in in the back line. Good immortality field. Make sure that that is not as dramatic as it could have been. But Boosty and Rabbit Sam still going down. Craggy triple kills in the back line. And that means, yep, easy. Can rest easy. Uh, ooh, will Craggy make it back on? Yeah, of course he will. It's a teleport. That's will be fine. Hardlow finishes off that last kill. 42%. And where that first round looked very good for Hot Bath, it's just starting to fall apart a little bit now that Yep Easy is running on this composition. It's just such a. It's such a comfortable thing to play because this is just a ranked environment at this stage. This is what everyone plays because the coordination level of this is far lower than it is on those oh. ability dive bombs. Oh, that grab is huge! There's an immortality field that gets turned out and then it is cleanup time. 64% on the back of that huge grab. That was a full team grab and you don't want that to happen. So either you stood in the choke too long or you just didn't have the tempo you wanted in the first place. Yeah, you're gonna see immediately the replay into that just craggy fragging on that reaper more like craggy more like fraggy essentially right shock is ready for this needs to do a good fire strike and they can just shatter doesn't hit anybody just has to go for the charge does get tricky turtle but the kills are already going for hot bath 
It is Rabbit Champ and Tricky Turtle find their targets, and this could just be the moment we've been waiting for. Hot Bath putting themselves back on the map. There's the cap here, 92%, and now it is up to them to defend. Yep, easy. With that aggression, can be very hard to defend on, but if they make even a single mistake, Hot Bath can capitalize easy, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, that was really shocked just going for the play and then the rest of the team being well, played upon before anything could happen. There's two tires oh. now. Who's going to get more value? We will see. Now it's off to the races and we do see a nice try. There's a good bubble onto Shock, but Harblue has no self. Goes down at the end of it. Alvacate able to set it up while there was, I don't think, any impact on the side of Yap Easy's or Caffey's tire onto Hot Bath. Yeah, now they're going to be sitting up for the next fight. Of course, the tank ultimates are getting very close for uh, Yep Easy, but so are they for Hot Bath. Lucio, they could shatter, they could just lay oh. this out before it even starts. And here it comes, Rabbit Champ fires in the Danger Noodles right there. They are able to split off Caffey and Craggy, and immediately they go down. There's a whole lot coming out from Tricky Turtle into that coalescence. At the end of the day, the right click is able to deal with shock here, and it looks like Hot Bath have known and have come to understand how to stop this. Weave in and out of the fight, despite this aggression. Yeah, definitely. They're doing such a good job right now of deterring what uh, Yep Easy wants to do. And they're keeping their distance. They're not really going for those, like, straight away skirmishes anymore. They're playing more reactive, more, uh, just a bit slower. And that seems to be working against the team that just wants to press W right now. Because they just get caught out before they can get close. Now moving in, Shock beats Yep Easy. We do see both the graph coming out, but also the window is there. That amplification matrix does that goes chance. Rabbit chance didn't have enough hit points to hold on to that. The charge and fire strike lead up to a triple kill for Shock. And that was some Reinharding that can go into the books. I don't think anyone can touch anymore. I don't think they have the mobility. Maybe Alvacate will make it on the tracer, but it's so low. Nope. That's going to be the first map going to Yap Easy. But man, they had to work for that, Ollie. They did. That game just turned sweaty in round three. That was absolutely crazy. And I'm looking forward to seeing, first of all, this player of the game here. Look at Harblue. Harblue's, uh, yeah, that was the full team blob here. They just blob it up, get that immortality feel, and then it's <laughs> then it's the coalescence together with the off angle that uh, uh, that Caffey and Craggy were able to take. It's just a way to execute that you hate to see. I think you see how the ultimate was just placed just next to the shield that Bustio was yeah. holding up. That's that's just painful at that point. I mean, they had to get that immortality field out. The Harm Blue had to get behind it to also get the right clicks in. Like, so much of that is just playing off of experience. Like, Harm Blue doesn't even think about that anymore. Just walks in with that. But, you know, we talked a lot about these tank lines, right? Like, Shock and Harm Blue doing a very good job of things. Uh, you can see in the replay as well, you know, how much they were actually able to uh, to get done on these, uh, on these points right there. But so much happened in that DPS battle as well. I mean, that was really the storyline of that first point where Rabbit Champ just shut down quite a few players on the side of, uh, of Yep Easy. But then Craggy and Caffey eventually adapt. They have to switch over to other heroes, show the flexibility, and eventually they're able to, you know, grasp back their dominance or grasp back, grasp back their winning position. But there's yeah, really a back and forth between these teams right now. Yeah, Rabbit Champ and Tricky Turtle definitely doing a good job trying to alleviate some of that pressure and actually setting up some pressure of their own. But when you see a shatter like that, followed up by that, that is just pure muscle memory there. Especially that charge, hop up into the fire strike, and me as a runner, Reinhardt, oh, yes, that is just exactly what you want to see. Um, so next game game type that we are going to go on is a hybrid. And we are apparently, well, is that is that the pick that are going to go with Blizzard World? We'll see. We'll see how imagine. it goes. Uh, yeah, I definitely can see. I definitely can see how. I mean, Blizzard World is a very, very fun map to play in the current meta. I mean, every hybrid is honestly in this, in this situation. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm, I mean, I would really like to see more of that because Blizzard World what it really does is it allows you as a team to play more open. So Hot Bath 
the way they really won, or the way they really played against uh, against Yep Easy, was to actually split up the fights a bit more. That balled up rush comp, that balled up with the Reinhardt, the Zarya, that works fairly well on control. But there's quite a few maps, including Blizzard World, where that's not as easy to pull off. So what Hot Bath is trying to do is they're trying to force Yep Easy to not play that same style anymore. It might work on the last point, but on yeah. the first and the second point, it will be a lot trickier to pull off the high ground can work and you can actually run those longer range snipers so you know rabbit champ back on the widowmaker i'd love to see it oh yeah rabbit champ's widowmaker in that first point even though it didn't get a lot of um of kills did pop off a couple of times um did did manage to clear your own backline by just being even further back and just watching and waiting for people like uh, like craggy and kaffee to try and go for your healer so that will work well especially on a map that will draw out like you said the death ball uh that 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 that, that very close mesh combi combination that yep easy have been playing so far so you pull it apart a bit like a pulled pork sandwich right and then you make sure that you have a venue of attack on one or two of them um that will also maybe mellow down some of the aggression here um, and give you a lot of opportunity for counterplay. So I'm really, really looking up, uh, l looking looking forward to uh, uh, to watching that. Now, um, man of class, I know you you are into into the whole uh, into the whole streamer is streamer situation, right? Is there anything that surprised you so far from the way that they're played? Uh, not at all. I mean, I think anyone who has, who has watched these guys play before is that these rushdown compositions just play very well into what they like to do, you know? Uh, we look at the player, uh, I mean, I personally, I'm most familiar with Hardblue, which is one of those things. Like, if you look at, at, at him, he often plays these Reinhardt Roadhog, uh, sorry, Zarya Roadhog heroes. Is off the Sigma as well a lot of the times. The ball is something that he likes to do, but it doesn't always work out as well in a team environment because of the style of ball that he, uh, he likes to execute. So it's very likely that we're going to see them try and do that, where Shock goes over in a Winston or so of some kind, maybe Harblue goes back over to the ball. It's very possible to do that on this point, but yeah. I would also definitely re definitely expect them to maybe even go with a Roadhog Zarya or just the Reinhardt Zarya still. Like it's it's not like it's not playable. It's just harder on this map than it was on, for instance, Control Center and Night Market. Yeah, with the changes, uh, with the with, with the changes that you have to make per point uh, to play it optimally, and we see that many times. You know, point one has a completely different dynamic that requires a completely different setup than, let's say, point three. Um, so do, yep, easy, or any both of the teams actually do they have the versatility in terms of players in order to make those changes and still be successful that is what blizzard world effectively checks as a map the same thing that something like havana would well one thing's for sure if rabbit champ shows a similar performance as they did on control then Craig is not going to be sticking on that far for long they might switch to an echo might switch to uh, you know, a soldier uh, maybe even a reaper again but there's definitely um a tough chance that they're going to be able to pull up the fire as easily and indeed they're going to be sticking on that reaper it was working on control so why wouldn't it work on blizzard world right you're absolutely right we'll see how this how this thing plays out now as we do see coming out of the spawn is yup easy yeah so far they're uh Again, like they're showing the same colors, but Kaffee back on that tracer is showing that they do want to play into this open map a little bit more than just running that death ball. All right, now moving in, Rabbit Champ. Good shot onto ML7. You see Alvicate already in the back line with that Genji. Bustio, good boob shot onto Shock here. Awkward is able to take down Yavin, and that is a thing. <laughs> that turned around quicker than I expected it to. It looked very good for Hot Bath in the early picks with Alvicate and Rabbit Champ just going in from multiple angles. But, yep, easy right now. Should be in control of the engagement if they keep that pressure up. Yeah, so far it is definitely uh, looking good for Yep Easy. They can take control of that objective and just sit around there. The Zarya, especially, doing a lot of damage with the Reaper. But the ball from Shock is just a quick re engage. It's not as conducive to the rest of this comp. And Hard Blue has to now be careful for Tricky Turtle, but nope. Craggy with the shotguns, blasting that hog out of the out of the game for now. Yeah, and you do. get to see Streets Face. You do see some Streets Face right there. Good play by play, by the way. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, look, hey, we gotta switch it up sometimes, right? You're not the only one who can yell, no. But I mean, you look, you look at a street space here right now. Like, this is the place where if you're going to, like, outmaneuver them, outflank them, use that open space to your advantage, it has to be here. There's no other place where that really works as well as the here on Blizzard World. Use the high ground, use all those flanking maneuvers, uh, use the openness of the, of the skybox. Just make sure that the payload doesn't keep rolling for free too much. That's the only real worry I have for hot bath. Right oh! Now. Big anti nade coming out to Shock, Harblu and Craggy there, but not enough pressure on the follow-up from Hot Bath to fully capitalize on that. That means payload still moving slowly but surely. Now we do see the Nano Genji coming out. The Blade is live, and they're going to go and try to get Kaffi, but Kaffi is just flipping backwards, just going back with a couple of blinks and making sure that you're out of range of that kitchen knife. Boostio goes down, so right now, Hot Bath's counterplay not playing out the way that they wanted optimally no definitely not and uh, oh that's a good grab as well coming out it's gonna be the tricky turtle in a world of hurt what a oh, 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 oh. Greggy with that death blossom goes on to two takes number three onto alpha k and that is just the moment that you want to have when you are on that high ground you know you just see craggy knowing what to do not hesitating and executing perfectly Oh, uh, they had some struggles on the first point of control, but there just ain't no stopping them now, Ali. It's uh, going further forward, and they have no chill. Just keep on pushing. This aggression is brilliant to see. All these players, they come from that era where Selfless came up, and they just started playing this aggressive style, and they've never stopped playing it. It's just a constant barrage of aggression and, and right clicks and shotgun shots. It's, it's impossible to uh, reset until you're in spawn, it seems. Yeah, Overwatch is a fast game in and of itself, but the way that they are playing it is just an absolute turbo mode. Button C with a good kill onto Craggy on that set, so that sets back the aggression just slightly, but Craggy very far forward on that Reaper anyway. So maybe just there to get some real estate, to get some position plays out of commission before Hot Bath can fully go in. Now Shock has that bubble, jumps in, still has an ultimate to play with, and just goes for that backline boost here though with a good minefield. Get Gets Caffey, gets Craggy, goes for more, still has enough adapter shield to be aggressive. Alvacate, good on to shock there. Bustio now finally goes down to Harblu, but the payload has been stopped effectively. Hot Bath can hold this for 3 minutes and 50 seconds. They have every tool in the toolbox and they have the skill to do so. Let's see if they can execute. Oh, look at that. There's Nanoblade coming up. I mean, they have to worry about Awkward's Transcendence, but a good Antinade or just killing Awkward before it starts is already enough to uh, shut that one down. I want to see Alvacate pop up here. Oh, now we go. Another Nanoblade, but there it is. The Transcendence comes out. The Self Bubble also from Harblu. So, Alvacate, two, tr uh, two tries, zero kills on both of those Nanoblades. That's got to hurt, especially when you die to Shock, who now jumps in. Has that primal rage is juggling the back line there is in a purple but is able to get themselves out of there har blue with a very good ultimate just shots down the reinforcements coming out from hot bath boostio gets slept already half hp before being able to for complete one circle that is the cap two minutes 58 on the clock and hot bath are looking a bit cold right now yeah, but honestly, that was such a weird play. I mean, the Nano Blade is a great, a great ultimate combination. Don't get me wrong; it's actually super. It's I mean, super powerful. You know it if you've played the game. But the problem is that either they didn't know that Awkward had Transcendence, and even if they knew Awkward has Transcendence, there was no setup for that blade. You have to enable your Genji to get the value out of that blade, even when it is a Nano Blade. Because if you are not set up to throw in an anti nade, if you're not set up to distract the enemy team from just throwing everything at that Genji, then how are you ever going to get value out of a Nano Blade? Because both the Transcendence and the Biotic Nade from ML7 were just enough to heal through it. The bubbles were barely even necessary. So, yeah, I mean, hot bath. If you want to make those plays, if you want to make that ultimate combination work, you have to set your Genji up better for it. You cannot just pull it out and hope it works. Well, that is, though, or that looks at least to be the only strategy that we saw in the last game. Alvacade has some issues either with the timing or with breaking through because you do see rampant counterplay any time that you hear that nano uh, that nano genji roll over the hill
Yeah, but I mean, we talked about that when the Genji meta rolled around, right? We always are always saying like, oh yeah, the Genji is so good right now. But because everyone's gotten so good at countering Genji, you cannot just send a Genji and hope he gets the kills. Like, you need to set him up. So, hot bath, if you're going to keep running Alphacate this way, even when it's a vanilla blade, you need to get him in there and also help out, do the follow-up, set up the play for it. Maybe take on Awkward or pressure him down to Force Transcendence. There's so many tools to your disposal besides the blade that can, you know, give it value. And they're not pulling him out. So now we're going to see if hot bath and rare attack can set a similar tempo. Because, of course, 2 minutes 58 is a beautiful time bank. No, that is right. 2 minutes 58 is a long time to hang around. Now, moving in, though, is the uh, hot bath crew. They're trying to break in and shock is just weaving with them shock and har blue just holding that front line now you do see not really a lot of you know a, a lot of actual long range apart from craggy's turret the rest of them they are just hanging back all the way after point a and just try to uh, try to get some shots in while that front line is being the biggest threat bustio this time gets craggy so that will alleviate some of the pressure as alvicate needs to move in from the sideline that's exactly what they're going to do the payload ready to be escorted comes out of the garage and we're going on the wild ride towards point b tricky turtle looks around the corner goes to, goes for a hook try but shock is there with that bubble bustio holds that shield up and now is looking maybe for an engagement no, nope, they're pulling back. It's not going to be the time where uh, Hot Bath is going to get to uh, get to be stopped. There we go. That's Good another job. Nano Blade. This time around, that looks better. He already gets one. That's two. Finally, he gets shot down by Hard Blue. But Alvacay is just redeeming himself from what we saw earlier. That's just enough to get that payload slowly moving around that first corner. Shock, even though as the, he has that ultimate up, will not be able to fully hold on to that. A lot of damage coming out from Rabbit Champ and Alvocate as he has to jump out of there. I mean, this is what you can see in terms of trouble oh. with a defensive comp, but there we go! Harblu oh, fires in another one of those grabs. This time, the Immortality Field holds. Bustio and Alvicate still got caught out and get back to spawn. And that means that the payload now firmly is in enemy territory. And Yep Easy will have a Yep Easier time to hold back Hot Bath. I mean, that is the pure definition of going for the kill rather than the play. If you see one or two heroes apart, you have a Graviton ready and you are on charge, why not throw it in? Just stop the, start, stop the fight before it even starts. But now you can see though, Yep Easy has a tougher time on defense because they can't just press W all the time. That's just not how defense works. And if they can't put out of their aggression, they lose a lot of what gives them so much value. Oh, good charge try from Bustio gets slept there. Is only saved by the fact that there was a transcendence for the longest time at the end of it all. Now it is a good aggressive push here from Hot Bar. Tricky Turtle needs to take a breather because Fraggy is in that side corner. Now fires in the visor, sees a, uh, a deflecting game. Genji. Genji jumps down at the end of it all, and that means the turnaround is there for Yap Easy. Harblu gets Boostio out. Payload hasn't moved in all that time, and they did invest a lot on Hot Bath's side. That's not what you want here. No, oh, definitely not. I mean, they'll still have a few ultimates left, but Revit Champ, how, how is he going to set up for that uh, for that dead eye? I mean, it's a good ultimate you can use to like quickly finish off a kill or to reload, but you kind of want to try and get some value out of it. And with Kaffi flanking you, how can you ever flank them for a good high noon? Yeah, Alvacate goes down, goes down yet again, and I hate to say it, but Alvacate, swap off. This is not going to work for you. That chatter though is decent. You have something in the back, uh, in the back here. That is a good stick on the back of Harblu's, um, sorry, Graviton Surge, even though it was stopped for most of it by uh, uh, by some good counterplay. At the end of the day, Hot Bath falling apart. Craggy and uh, Caffey are just there when it matters most. Yeah, we're going to now be seeing Shock trying to uh, match Bustio on the ball. Doing a good job so far. There's a little bit of, uh, you know, 1v1 ball play. I like to see it. The Wrecking Ball is a uh, fun duel hero, but not if you don't get to do the 1v1. Shock kind of got helped out there a little bit. Bit unfair, guys. Come on. 
Chuck, Chuck has that minefield, goes very low at this point, but they want to have that minefield in the choke, giving themselves some more breathing room on the side of Yap Easy. It's 1 minute 46 on the clock, and that payload hasn't moved in just over a minute. So that is going to be a hard enough to crack when you are the hot bath uh, people, I suppose. Sorry. Harblu takes up Ustio. High Noon comes out of Rabbit Cham, gets ML7. And now finally, Payload is moving on the back of that. That, uh, that minefield will just alleviate a little bit of pressure, but the only one you actually just wall and cordon off is Button C on this set. Now, hot bath moving it in, but enough time to regroup for Yep Easy, Man of Class. Yeah, I mean, there should be plenty of time, but. No, that doesn't mean that they're able, going to be able to actually hold, especially when Cranky goes down that late. We'll come back with Attack Pfizer and Bustio falls here in the side room. It means there's a lot of opportunity to have to have the space controlled. And then you get Rabbit Champ. This is looking dire already now for Hot Path because they were looking good. But now all of a sudden with losing two members, they're going to have one more attack to get this payload into, la into the second checkpoint. And then they still have to make it to the end of the map. They do, and they also have less ultimates to work with. Now Albicate once again brings in the Genji Blade. Immediately the Transcendence is being fired off. This time I actually think that was on purpose just to get the Trans out of Awkward. So that is a good way of just making sure that you have the tools to survive. Harblu has that Graviton Surge. is a bit low, but gets immediately healed up by uh, by ML7. Craggy, good double kill. Sets it up. Sets himself up for success. Has that visor. Tricky Turtle is all alone in a corner versus two of Yep Easy people. A good ultimate try from Tricky Turtle, but not able to capitalize on the back of that. And this is just the overtime like running down. Bustio there and is trying to extend. There's the Antinate. Unable to hold this off. And no one will be touched that anytime soon and that is the 2-0 coming up for yes e yep easy remember we have been uh we have been already at this point in the last match that does not mean that hot bath don't have the tools don't have the skill to bring this back so this is not over yet look at this play of the game they're from awkward here for a second man of class Oh, there's Zenyatta getting the play of games that you'll love to see. Not even has the Transcendence healing in it. Just gets a few nice clicks. Actually, Alphacate losing this? Yeah, the health pack saves them out. Wow. Like, Alcourt is doing such a good job on the Zenyatta in general. The support, I mean, everything on the side of, uh, of Yep Easy is just yeah. working as intended at this stage. And while Hot Bath actually had quite a good uh, showing earlier on, uh, able to disrupt what Yep Easy wanted to do, they couldn't quite get that same pressure on them this time around. As long as Yep Easy is able to play this pseudo uh, aggressive hybrid, maybe, maybe not like full on rush, but at least a hybrid rush, they are going to be looking very good. You really need to push them apart by running a more a composition that requires so much more coordination that you being a team is usually gonna gonna edge it out for you. Yeah, that how I worked on control center, sorry, on the gardens, and it might have to work on the other maps because otherwise this is looking very easy for uh, yep easy. Yep, you are absolutely right. And more on what Hot Bath can do uh, to crack this open and to turn this around will be uh, discussed in just a minute. For now, though, there's a bio break both for the teams and for us. And we will be right back with you after a word from our, uh, from our sponsors.
I'm a banana and welcome to today's big banana brain question. Today's big banana question is what color are Moira's eyes? Are they A, blue and yellow, B, yellow and red, or C, blue and red? Where did that guy go? Anyways, the answer is C, blue and red. See, Moira actually has a disease called heterochromia, a genetic disease that is not found very often within humans, but is found increasingly commonly within your 13-year-old deviant artery. Anyways, this has been your big banana brain question. I hope your brain is bigger because of it. Way. <laughs>And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are looking at a 2-0 lead for Yap Easy versus Hot Bath here in the upper bracket of the Monkey Bubble Banana Brawl. I'm the Oliman, so with me, of course, is Man of Class, and I am um, basically just fired out a flare before we went on to break. What can Hot Bath do in order to turn this around? I mean, look... You said buyer break, I heard banana break, so I, I ate one of them, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, a hot bath and yep, easy. I mean, it's, it hasn't been a it hasn't been a close series, but it's been an interesting series in terms of what the dynamic between these teams is so far, right? So, uh, yep, easy. You know, we always say, oh, it's a streamer team, you know, oh, this and that. But I mean, they have a lot of competitive experience, okay? Like, they're all top 500 players, so they know how, to, how the game works, so to speak. Uh, but a hot bath is trying to combat this by playing more as a team, so to speak, right? So Hot Bath, their real power right now is in more of the ranged and pokey engagements. They don't want to fight head to head because in that case, Yep, Easy has consistently been coming out on top. Where they've been winning is when you have players like Rabbit Champ being on the on the Widowmaker. When you have Tricky Turtle and Ninja 1K able to like stay further away from the enemy team and just poke around, just yeah. run around with those more divey compositions. So that's what we're looking for right now, for that to continue. And Junker Town is the map to do that on. Best D map to do it on, especially since you have long sight lines, especially since you have enough sight lanes to uh, actually trade it out to maybe surprise these uh, the, these players that have, of course, all of them, a couple of thousand of hours of Overwatch under their belt. Um, especially since with every iteration, it's the same thing in Blizzard World, right? You want to force... Yep, easy to play different compositions because otherwise they get rolled, and that is exactly what you can do on Junkertown with the open and uh, with the open range going into a very corridor setup, and then at the end that big U-turn with the sight lanes. Um, all three of them require different compositions, different play styles, and different approaches, and that just means that both of these teams will be will have to be on their feet. And the question is, can Yep easy do that? For now, I'm not worried, but we will see whether or not that will change as now coming out of the gate yep easy are on the attack man of class i want to see some hall hooks i want to see him happen it would be great if you could see some as well as of course there's plenty of opportunity for a halt and then a sniper shot following up you have a double sniper going on alpha gate on the genji is the x factor right now oh. and hard blue already makes sure that the x factor has to do even more <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. Harblue makes sure that the shield is no longer on the field. Ninja 1K just gets hooked out. Alva K gets Caffrey though, this time coming in from the side. And you do see that Genji will be a lot more valid in this setup. Craggy goes down to Rabbit Champ. Alva K now waking up, gets ML7 out of commission. Tricky Turtle comes from the side up to Shark. And now it's just Harblue. And Harblue, as good as they are on that off tank, they won't be able to solo this. No, it's not going to be an easy, uh, easy completion of point A so far. And now you're going to start Best seeing the ultimates coming alive for both teams. Uh, interesting, interestingly, Alvocate is on the Genji. But there is still no Ana, so that means this will not be a Nanoblade moment, but it could be a Blade moment that gets value as Aqu Aquar doesn't quite have the transcendence yet. There's just a tight window though. It has to be now. 
Oh, that hook is good off the Trinket Turtle. He goes down. Craggy able to come up there. And now the Nano Blade goes on. Actually, just the blade. Sorry. Good double kill. Caffeine and Craggy both going down. That gives you a lot of damage that is no longer on there. But then the whole heart comes out. Good accretion. Ninja 1K making sure that this is not the end of the story. But then the Nano comes out. Hard Blue still up and in there. And this is the cap. That was a good play by Hot Bath. But the stagger of these ultimates was so instrumental in pushing that all the way to point A. That was also a relatively slow engage. It took him a while to set up that blade play. In the meantime, Craggy had already gotten the kill. And then the other kills started to come through. So while, yes, Alvocate had a, had a successful blade, it was too late. Oh, Hablu misses the first hook of this uh, of this match, gotta say, uh, to Tricky Turtle. You didn't even see him coming fully, so that was good set up. Shock has the ultimate, will now put the bongos down, and there is a tran uh, there is a sorry a transcendence to come in with that, trying to keep up Bath alive. Buttons he able to kill ML7 at the end of it all. Craggy though, double kill. Rabbit Champ unable to win the widow widow one v one at the end of. The the day ninja 1k tries it with the ultimate gets hooked down and gets executed cafe just fires in the dragon forget measure and there's a fireworks three minutes 30 on the clock point b should be in the pocket uh buttons you lost behind enemy lines alvocate tries and touch but the rest of the team says no 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 just get out of there we're gonna try point c maybe we'll hold them there and with five minutes on the clock that's plenty of time but we all know how quickly it can go away here on the uh, last point of Junker Town. Yeah, the last point of Junker Town, that big U turn that makes you so no much die. out in the open when you're the attacking team. Craggy, that shot was beautiful. But, oh, Ooh. follows it up with number two. Ooh, indeed. And Caffey going up to try and contest that high ground. Now, moving back is Hot Bath. They decide to just fight it out all the way in the back because they don't have the opportunity to go and use that U turn the way that uh, Yap Easy are playing. They're just not giving them the opportunity, Classy. Remember when I said that the range play was actually working out quite well for Hot Bath? Well, I, I think we can throw that out of the window. I think Yep Easy is just good at whatever they do. They set to warm up for that first round of control. Now they're rolling into third, basically have to win one, maybe one and a half, two fights, and then they're done. Four minutes on the clock still. It's so much time. Genji Blade comes in. Transcendence already out. Caffey goes down because he wasn't in that Zenyatta ultimate. And Alvicate actually lifts the tell the tail. Just one kill, but it doesn't matter because Shock at the end of the day goes down. Harblu was anti. Needs to pull back. And this time around, Hot Bath are just heating up the water here. Uh, this is when you talk about the comeback play. Alpha K does lose that 1v1 with Awkward. Not a place you want to be in as a Genji to lose that consistently. We saw it on Blizzard World. See it here again. Ninja 1K does kill, clean that up, but still feels bad, you know? It gives, it gives you that confidence boost if you're Awkward and the, the confidence shaker when you're Alpha K. All right now, Tricky Turtle up on the high ground. The rest with Hot Bath. They are just ready and willing to hold this here. So this time around, there's some determination coming out from a Middle Eastern friends here. Craggy yes. looking for some kills. Will not find any because the hiding is real. There it is. The... Uh the ultimate for the Widowmaker is coming out, and that means you have a lot of information on the side of uh, on the side of Rabbit Champ. He goes down, unfortunately, so that lasted not long enough. Caffey, good shot onto Ninja and Tricky Turtle holding up on that point. He is trying to get Shock's shield down and make sure that he can push Shock out of commission. This time on the side, Harblu. This time uh, he is on the hamster, and he is trying to make sure that there will be momentum because. Momentum is the name of the game for Yap Easy. Craggy, good double kill. Make sure that the point is wide and open. Good whole hawk coming out from Tricky. The Nano is still alive. But at the end of the day, that will not matter. Because Craggy is absolutely uncontested up on the high ground. The payload still moving in. Now good pile driver coming in from Harblu. Alvake tries it with the blade. Doesn't make it happen. But Caffey comes in onto Yarvin. I don't think there will be a lot that they can do here. Good though, that Diva Bomb gets Caffey away awkward onto Tricky Turtle now it's just a stagger game and Hot Bath need to stagger faster need to respawn faster the Doomfriend comes out from Alvocate goes down Craggy still able to fire into this and this is just duck shooting at that point round one complete we're going for the flip one minute and 41 on the clock man of class
Uh, it's such a good job though from Hot Bath that they're able to hold on to that last point for, I mean, four minutes almost. It was a long time that they had to hold that. And that uh, kind of shows you where the hope for Hot Bath lies. There was that play with the self destruct there in the end where they get the kill onto Caffey. And the reason that happens is the entire team of Yep Easy kind of runs away from the payload. Only Caffey is on that. And you'll see teams with more practice and coordination for these situations usually have a more structured plan of like who touches when, who can go out, who can go in, like where do you go? So that. That, that less experienced group play for this particular squad for Yep Easy is still a place where you can sometimes capitalize on. What you cannot do is what Elvicade keeps on doing when he tries to 1v1 Awkward, because it's just not happening. Like today, Awkward is just the Zenyata that will take you down every time. So uh, there's certain things that you can do, certain things you cannot do. Go for the team play, not for the individual one. That's where it lies right now for Hot Bath. And the more they start to do that, the more you know, hope there is for them in this series. They can still pull this back. They can, but the question the question is, will they be able to coordinate their play in a way that we have rarely seen from Hotbath in this entire setup? I don't know if they're just shell shocked to play against uh, against these very well known players, or whether or not they're just not getting it together in terms of the play style. But they need to step it up. They need to coordinate their attack because those. Hail Marys from Elvacate will not cut it at the end of the day. Elvacate now moving in is already there with a bit of a deflect. Hard blue onto Tricky Turtle, but Rabbit Champ at least wins the Widow versus Widow duel. Right now, Hot Bath, they have everything. They have the attacking side, so that means they have the momentum in order to go further in. But right now, they're just not using it full. Rabbit Champ, though, good shot onto Awkward. Moving forward, moving further in. Ninja 1K making space for the rest of the team. Kaffee goes down. LBK double kill onto ML7. It's like the hurt me talk. Rabbit Champ goes down at it all, but the tanks are there. The payload still moving. Craggy in a very open position. LBK knows that and goes after him. Yeah, this payload might actually just get there. I think the Riki test is definitely possible, but it's going to be a close one. Elvacate's looking for that Widowmaker, though. I don't think they're going to come back in. Only if Craggy touches. Would they kill each other? Wait. They are. Oh, they did. I don't know is... how. You know how? Because Genji is a projectile hero, so there's a very tight window in which Craggy can still shoot and then gets shurikens in their head. So they both headshot each other. That's a one versus one that you uh, you love to see. One of those tiny minutia things, right? It happens oh. with us all the time. Ninja 1K got caught out there in a side lane, and we do see Tricky Turtle now very reluctant to go and try and flank Harblu and Shock. Uh, that has a good reason. Now moving further inwards, you do see that payload running the first corner, but the Widowmaker is already there. Craggy knows. Craggy knows everything. Now the ultimate is coming out, and you do see that you do not have enough shield to take the damage from both Craggy and Awkward up on the Craggy looking for some targets, looking for Ninja. Ninja 1K said gets fired out, but almost gets fired out by Rabbit Champ. And this time, the Nano Blade coming out, gets hooked down. Whoa. Wow! Awkward! And Harblu just made quick work of that. And that was a good engage that didn't go anywhere. Great counterplay. Rabbit Champ is the only one who consistently shows the value on the DPS line here for Hot Bath. Double kill for him. Double kill on one HP. That's the Red Rabbit Champ special at this stage. No DPS on the on the defense. It means a good chance for Hot Bath to keep pushing this forward. And they're still making pretty good time on this map. They're definitely showing that they're not out of this series just yet. And yet easy. Cannot just get away with such an easy win. Good blocks coming up. The transcendence comes out at the end of the day. Harblu was anti and just didn't have the hit points to survive that slam. Craggy on the sideline. Onto Ninja 1K. Alva K. Good setup onto ML7. Craggy double kill. But the the payload is still moving because Rabbit Champ is there to fire out shock. There's no more front line for Yep Easy, and that just means that Hot Bath can actually fire it in. Alvacade onto Awkward this time around, and you do see a nice close range duel. At the end of the day, Craggy wins it out after that very close headshot. That was a good, good turn and fire on that setup. Cafe gets Alvacade down, and that's it.
Ah, oh, so close in actually getting the getting the win there in that in that fight. Now three minutes left. You will have, I mean, plenty of chances to still get there, but they want to make some tempo because third is where they really expected to get the most resistance. Hard blues now switch over to the wrecking ball and shocks on the Orisa. So we'll see a very different dynamic in what they want to do tank wise. And if Tricky Turo can get good hooks off. It's gonna be very hard to get make those uh, most two tanks work against it. Oh, there we go. That, that's a dragon strike. The dungeon rules hit Yarvin out of it for a double kill. No more healers on the side of Hotbar. Harblu now coming in from this side goes to find the battle versus Ninja 1K. But Tricky Turtle at the end of the day is there to help out. Hooks him out of it. Hotbar not out of commission just yet. Two minutes and 26 on the clock, and we are running. Oh, this is Alvocate's fight, though. Alvocate has, be, has to be the one that gets the value now. There's no Transcendence. There's no hook that can shut you down. You can really only get, like, double headshot by Craggy and Caffey, and that maybe shuts you down. But everything else, the Nanoblade, the setup is there. Yeah, we do see Harblu coming in with the melee onto Rabbit Champ, making sure that the long side lines are clear, but Shock goes down. Alvocate this time around doing a much better job, I have to say. Now the Shaper Morigar coming out. There it is. Alvocate has another one of those blades. This time finds ML7 and is just slicing and dicing. Ninja 1K coming up for the help. And this should be the cap. The cap is real. And Hot Bath extend their timer. Three minutes and 14 on the clock. This is not over yet. Oh, and that was such a confidence play into Awkward. Didn't have Transcendence yet, but ML7 says, you know what? I'm gonna give you the Nano Boost, because I have faith that you can shut down a Nano Blade Genji. Didn't quite work out, but it was definitely a fun play to make, and a very much a confidence move, where you say, Alvocate, you've been dying to the Zenyatta all game. We're gonna just try and get, get to do it again, even if you, if you do have that blade. Tricky Turtle very close to that whole hog. Rabbit Champ now looking to get a pick, preferably on that Zenyatta, because that will alleviate a lot of the healing. We'll make sure that Hot Bath can do what they want to do. Ninja 1K unable to get back into the mech after that bomb, and Rabbit Champ and Tricky Turtle find their targets. Now Shock holding that payload, and that means that Alvicate and Tricky Turtle need to get a move on. Kaffi goes down. Tricky Turtle in the back of Shock. They want to set it up. Yamin, good anti nade, and the payload moving yet again as Alvicate. Alvocate goes down on the sideline. Awkward. Good double kill. Rabbit Champ just eats a right click from that brilliant Zenyatta. Oh, yeah. Right now, I mean, Hot Bath is looking very, uh, very stable on the attack, but they still have to complete this map and they still have to complete it relatively soon. Otherwise, there'll be so much down in time. It's possible, though. They definitely have the, have the momentum. They don't quite have the ultimates, but the transcendence in particular is such a good tool to have in the back. Now moving in at full power, Harblu going on to Ninja 1K, gets him out of the shell, Alvacad already down, and this time there is Shock, he has the ultimate, but the ultimate already got killed out by Bottensy, Rabbit Champ, double kill, good shot onto Harblu, follows up onto Awkward, at the end of the day will not win in a jump shot, versus Craggy, Tree Three Turtle from the high ground, now has that whole hog, and that nano will not help you Craggy, but you will be able to survive that, that was beautiful, and Craggy just fires back, and closes this out. 1 minute and 20 on the clock right now. Yep, easy. Under a lot of pressure, but they're holding up onto it. Uh, honestly, the pocket of the Craggy there saved them. Got so many shots off while almost dying. They get the Nano Boost. And now they have the ultimate as well, but there's a Nano Blade again. Nano Blade comes in. Alvocate already finds Caffey looking for more targets. Needs to go a long time in order to just get to Craggy. Unable to do that in time as the Nano and the Blade both end. Now in trouble. Harblu though is being fired from two sides. There's the dash and the payload is moving. 46 seconds on the clock. And now Hot Bath are in a position to at least equal this out and god don't let this be over we need more overwatch in our lives and both of these teams are giving us a good reason to want that alvocate good deflect looking for more targets but has to pull back at the end of the day there's both the transcendences tricky turtle good double kill shock is down and that is instrumental ninja 1k with a good bomb here and this could be over harblu now holding it in he is discorded and ace one versus four at this setup ml7 gets Ninja 1K out of the out of the mech. Alvocate onto Craggy. Good jump here by Shock, but he shouldn't be able to survive this this long. There's the Nano onto the Doomfist, but Alvocate with another blade. Double kill. He will redeem himself, and that's it. Hot bath. Complete round two against the odds. Oh, honestly, right now, hot bath just showing up to this series maybe two maps late but they're still here Ollie. 
They're not done yet. They're not down and out. And you know what? In chat, I see a lot of people just, you know, trying to figure out who the best player, you know, on the on Yep Easy is right now. But why is no one talking about who the best player on Hot Path is? No, like, they, they're doing such a good job right now. They're, they're actually being able to shut down players on Yep Easy. They're able to work together as a team to get some combos off. They're able to set up Alphagate for Blades even. You might not always find the kills with them, but Alphagate gets out alive from the Blades. That's already a big step up from earlier on. So Hot Bath is setting themselves up more and more for these win conditions, for these for these fights, for everything, really. And honestly, yeah. I can see them winning this map still. I could see them win this map. If they just fire it in, if they just go full ham on this, then they should be able to fire this out. I mean, we've said this two or three times before. Hot Bath have all the tools in their toolbox to make this happen. Now they just need to do it. And I'm waiting for them to do it. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's only one way to work, to do it, and that's just to press the buttons correctly, right? <laughs> no, no. I mean, they, they, the, the comps aren't changing. I mean, these, these teams are very comfortable in what they want to play and how they want to play it right now. And it makes sense. Both these compositions have enough merit. There's nothing to really say, like, oh, this doesn't work, this does work. The only criticism we had before was Alvigate on the Genji, but he's, I feel like he's redeemed himself. Bunzi going down here to Awkward, though. That is a little bit of a slowdown, but spawns close enough, so they'll still be able to push the cart. All we know for sure, this uh, overtime will be hitting before they get point A, because that's almost inevitable. What a deflect! Caffey <laughs> didn't know what hit him there. And Albuquerque looking for more targets. Craggy on the trigger turtle yet again. And remember, Craggy is not someone you should underestimate. And that means that you want to send that Genji in fast and deep if you possibly can. That's exactly what Albuquerque is doing. Up on that high ground, already fighting this time though, versus a Tracer actually gets the better of Caffey. Craggy already went down as rabbit champ was able to pick him off and now that means this payload could actually go to point a they just need to get rid of shock that's exactly what they're doing now yep easy are on the button they need to either go for it or just wait it out for the second choke the moment these doors open you have a perfect choke to defend yeah, very much so, but they just still see it set up for it. They're still coming back from spawn to a degree. It's all about getting that opening pick right now. Craggy versus Rabbit Champ. That's the matchup, and Rabbit Champ wins it. Oh, 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 this time around, it's revenge time. Elvicate looking for more. Has that blade ready? Has Harblu very low, but will not go in without at least a semblance of backup. Whole Hawk comes out from Harblu, and now Elvicate actually fighting versus Shock inside that bubble. Gets healed up. The Nano still on the monkey monkey on the side lanes you need to watch out there but right now hot fast they have it going they have it coming albicate and ninja are doing their jobs and the overtime week are running there is right now it is just kathy extending their timer gets a double kill though buttons and albicate both going down rabbit champ stops it out the overtime week still running but so is that payload man of class Oh, they're still rolling. They're still going further forward. And they have some ultimates to work with still. Alpha K did not have to use the blade. Buttons, he has a transcendence. Tricky Turtle Ninja, both at their ultimates. And yep, easy invested quite a lot there. Yes, they have a transcendence against the blade, but there's three other ultimates. Oh, what is that? No one there to touch! Oh, 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 oh. oh that no. was it. Yavin wasn't there in time to touch it out. And that means we are done with the with the second push round. We're going into round four. Anything can happen. But now it's on the defense for Hot Bath. And that is a very dangerous thing to do against Yep Easy. But even if they hadn't gotten to the end of the point, that card would have rolled for quite a few more meters. That can be the difference between winning and losing this map and the series if you're Hot Bath right now. That's such a shame. Ollie, why do we always get these weird C9s? I feel like, <laughs> I feel like it's us. Like, I don't think it's the... I, think, I, do think, I honestly do believe it's us at this stage. Oh, yeah. It's okay, though. It's okay, though, because you know what? It makes it even more interesting. Because if that payload gets all the way to second and maybe even further in a minute... That's an insane win condition to get to if you're uh, if you're yet easy. Now it's halfway to second. You can get through first before your time runs out. You might get into overtime, but you can complete this with time left. So it's 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 a bit more leeway. There's a bit more margin for error, and that's what you like to see if you are yet easy. You set yourself up beautifully by getting that hook, and honestly. Just being able to hook someone off the card and then the overtime ticking down, that is a mistake on Hot Bath's side. It's a it good is. recognition from Yep Easy, but that is not the way you should be losing or like uh, letting a payload go.
I mean, with all the crazy things that can happen in Overwatch, this is the one that still gets us to this day. However, yep, easy. Have uh, have an opportunity now to close this out. They're going for that double sniper setup. The same thing um, with the exception of, of course, Alvacade on the Genji comes out of the gate for the hot bath. And hot bath, once again, they have the opportunity to defend it, but they need to do it for a long time. Two minutes on the clock as this payload is rotating towards that choke there we go ninja 1k the first one to show their face on the main setup tricky turtle needs to pull towards the other side rabbit champ already going down here for craggy cafe with a storm arrow looking to get ninja 1k away from that point and they crack the knot and eat the juicy juicy flesh inside alvocate goes down tricky turtle is there for ml7 button z also done so right now it is smooth sailing for yep easy that's not what you want with one minute 45 still there no, oh, definitely not. Rabbit Champ gets to get, kill, get the kill on Craggy, so that means it's an easier setup now on the point B. No, don't have to worry about that uh, one shot from the Widowmaker. Oh, but Ninja gets hooked in. Will they get out? No, they do get D-Mac, but at least they don't get D-Mac on side uh, of uh, of where Yep Easy is right now. Now, this is all. This is it. Like This is literally one fight win, like a good fight win, and this map is over. And this series is over. Yeah. Okay, now moving along, moving across the site. One minute and 12 seconds. You do see a good high ground set up here for Hot Bath. But immediately gets no hooked out. Cafe is that there that to close the deal after a great hook by Harblu. Yarvin fires onto Awkward. And that is a good bit of news. Because Awkward is very close to that transcendent. There it is, the Nanoblade. Comes out. He goes for Cafe. He takes ML7. He goes for Draggy. That's a triple. Looking for more. Shock is in the corner. And that is it! 40 seconds on the clock and they stop it with a single ultimate! The one time Awkward isn't there with a Transcendence and Alvocate just shows up to the plate, finally gets that Nanoblade that they've been looking for all series. 30 seconds left on the clock. It's one fight territory. Yes, the spawns are close for Yep Easy. And they get this opening big, opening big on the Ninja. But this is by no means going to be easy. This is not going to be something that you want to have happen. Caffey onto Alvocate. And one more DPS biting the bullet right now. And now, this is just millimeters. There's a Transcendence coming out. The Danger Noodles. Good block here from Barton C. More of a coincidence than anything else. The Counter Transcendence coming up from Awkward. And and there's a nano coming in. Harblu is powered up, but also anti. Harblu with a double kill. Good diva bomb. Unable to kill it out. Ninja 1K holding it up together with Alvacate as Rabbit is already down. Bottom Cena is gone as well. No more healing. Tricky Turtle coming in with the ball, but it's too late. And that is a 3 0. Yep, easy take the series. Oh, I'm so, so mad right now that they see 9 Oli because that was so oh. close. Those two extra meters could have made the difference. And then Alvocate, after such a beautiful Nanoblade, you're going to see it here in the play of the game because I think this was just it. I this think has to it be the was. one, right? Yes, yeah, it is. It, it is. is. It, it has is. to be the one. Of course, it is. Like, oh. and then afterwards, he just stays below and just gets caught out by three F easy players. Same with the Ninja yeah. 1K. Like, yeah. after such beautiful play, they just position themselves to they're setting themselves up to get killed and that's so disappointing yes they're not out of the tournament they get another chance but they could have gone to another map they could have seen more of this series and now yep easy just get an easy ride into the next one they kind of got given this map not gonna lie they got given this map for a for, for a large part and that was all on the back of that c9 i still do not know what happened there so if we have a, a, a replay on that uh dear producer Says, please let me know and show it to us because I am still flabbergasted by the entire run of this map. Look at Craggy though. That is what you want from a Widowmaker. Just calm and collect it, move much. in and just fire it in. That is just exactly what you want to have. It's too bad. And that's one thing, right? Um, that Harblu was able to tank that bomb. Because Ninja 1K, that bomb plant on that last on that last bit of defense could have gone the exact other way. Um, yeah. All in all, though, great series from both of the teams. Uh, yep, easy, just a little bit more seasoned in this set. And I'm, I'm just, I'm, yeah, I'm not at a loss for words. That was great, man of class. 
Yeah, of course. Well, you know, even if you're a loss of words, they'll even be able to hear you be silent because of the TeamSpeak sponsorship. Sorry, I had to throw it in there. TeamSpeak official <laughs> provider for Monkey Bubble. No, but this was a great series, and oh. it's just a shame that Hot Bath couldn't uh, give them that slightly bit more contest because of all the great plays they made. Um, we'll obviously be able to talk to actually one of the players from Yep Easy, hopefully, after this uh, game. So what we're going to do right now is going to throw it to a very quick break. Just get one of the players into the voice channel, and then we'll bring you an interview right after this insane match. But we got to catch our breath and let the players do the same. So grab Grab some water, and you'll be right back by hearing from one of your favorite streamers from Yep Easy. Oh, 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 
And ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the Overwatch Monkey Bubble, a banana, a brawl here on Monkey Bubble. I'm the Olimanza. With me, of course, is the man of class. And also with us is our visitor from the Yap Easy team, my favorite main tank, Shock. Hello, Shock. How are you? Hello, guys. I'm doing good, doing good. That's fantastic. Now, you had a game that looked, at least for the first two maps, like a, uh, I'm not going to say a breeze, but but uh, winnable enough. Let's put it this way. Uh, was there a certain game plan that you had for this, or did you, did you just play what felt good as a team? No, honestly, we didn't prepare at all. We just came to meme around and just roll some people, so we were like, you know, why not? Okay, well that's a statement. I hope you I hope you realize that the other teams will be looking very, very closely at what you have just done uh, as you progress in the rounds. But you know, first of all, of course, congratulations for advancing. Um Yeah. <laughs> I must I must say, uh once hot bath got run uh, got running and that means you know later stages of the blizzard world and especially on a junker town was there ever a moment where you thought oh these guys have it well uh not really because they are i think mostly otps so we weren't really afraid of them so i, I think we had the game all along Oh, cool, cool. I mean, you know, obviously we are still reeling about that C9 that happened on their second day. Uh, uh, yeah. Was or is, was did you like see the opportunity? Did you guys see like see the opportunity, or uh, was it also really, like a really big surprise to you guys that that happened? On Junker down? Yeah. Oh no, Harbo legit said he will hook him and they will C9, and he did it. Okay. Well, you know, good predict, good uh, good spot, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a planned that's a planned kind of C9 setup. It was very close though. The Moira was very close to actually touching and extending that, and that could have given you a bit of trouble, but once again it, it worked out in your in your favor. Um a bit of a contentious question to you. Who is your favorite streamer? My favorite streamer? Yeah. The Fran. Well, that is a that is a, that is a very good, a very quick question. Thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> and, easily. And of Oh, go ahead, Ollie. <laughs> okay. Of course, of course. Uh, one of my favorite questions, and the question that Man of Class said is absolutely mandatory. What's the best thing about bananas? Bananas? I don't know. They go, go good with like how do you call it, cream and stuff. So you know. Yeah. 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 Banana ice cream. Banana. Yeah, cream. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Delicious. Stuff. I, yeah, I, yeah. I like your taste. I like your taste. So I'm out of my bananas myself. So unfortunately, that uh, we'll probably wrap it I'll up here for uh, for this one. Oh yeah, I mean, I I have one on. Oh no, this is my microphone. I can't eat that. That's, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shock, thank you very much for uh, hopping around. You, for free, of course, feel free to go just back to your team. Enjoy the next matches because I think you still have uh, at least one more today. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good luck in that. We'll be up a record semifinals, so uh, we'll see how you perform in that one. And uh, we'll we'll definitely see you tomorrow because you cannot drop out of the tournament anymore today. True. Well, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow bye. and good luck. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for uh, for the game today between Yep Easy and Hot Bath. We have seen some action. We have seen despair. We have seen the entire range of human emotion in just under an hour and a half, and we were all here to witness it. Right now, we are going to throw it to a, a break, and when we return, we have uh, I think Big Hungry Phil and uh, Lafon coming back in here to bring you the next couple of games of the monkey bubble banana brawl until then i have been the olimancer with me is still the man of class on the button is the fantastic jen and we will see you when we see you don't go anywhere <laughs>